Hey YouTube, it's GV Lone Guy. It is November 21st, 2011. And uh, this morning, woke up to some news about a new asteroid. A new asteroid alert. I gotta tell you, I'm just barely over the YU-55 asteroid event. This one here, I just wanted to uh, point out that there are several comparisons I'd like to make to this thing and most of them indicate that it's smaller farther away less things to be worried about but anyway here's some of the information it's called asteroid 2011 WP4 and it was discovered just a couple of days ago on the 18th of November that's the first thing that's different about it than YU-55, which was discovered years ago, and they've had years to uh, track the orbit. YU-55 was 400 meters. They described it as being the size of an aircraft carrier. Also, um, about the size of a 1,300-foot-tall building, which happens to be the size of the Twin Towers before they were knocked down. This thing is 66 meters long, or tall, or whatever, wide, and that is about 215 feet, which is a mere 20-story building. I mean, that's no big thing. Uh, they, so anyway, they described the live as a aircraft carrier size. This is going to have to be described as a barge size. Not too exciting. Even the name, YU-55, kind of just rolls off your tongue. Sounded good. WP-4, mm, kind of boring. I don't know. Doesn't have the same ring to it. But a 20-story building is actually not a small thing, i got to say that. The other thing is YU-55, uh, let's see, I think I got this over here. YU-55 is on this page. Okay, there's YU-55. See, it was... Uh, 0 0.0022 AU away, which is also 0 0.8, 0 0.8 lunar distances. Well, that's that's pretty close. That was fairly close. We all got excited about that. Here's the story on WP4. It is going to be see one and a half, one and a half uh, lunar distances. That's farther away. This one's 0 .0038, almost four. So it's like twice as far away. Not really too much to be concerned about there. The only thing that really concerns me at all about this thing, here's the part that's a little bit concerning. The condition code is eight. Uh, that is considered way up near the top. It's been observed since uh, the 18th, first observations the 18th November 18th last observations the 19th so basically they've had one day to study this thing and they've used they've had 20 I guess 20 different positions that they've tracked it and from those points they have uh, created the the orbit at which they've posted up on the JPL on that site Here's the part that's kind of concerning to me. This over here on the on the Minor Planets website, they've got it listed here as an uncertainty level of 8. Let's look at what that says. So here's the uncertainty parameters. In order to, I'm going to read this here. In order to qualify the uncertainty in a perturbed orbital solution for a minor planet in a concise fashion, the Minor Planet Center has introduced the U, or the uncertainty, U parameter. This is an integer in the range of 0 to 9, where 0 indicates a very small uncertainty, and 9 an extremely large uncertainty. Okay, all right. Well, we're at an uncertainty level of 8 right now and that is considered extremely large uncertainty 
In practice, u is rarely larger than 6. So we've got an uncertainty level here. That's really the story. This thing's only been known now for a couple days. Here it is on the list. It's due to come to its closest approach to the Earth on November 24th, which is three days from right now. And they've known about this thing for three days. We're just finding out about it now, and there's three days left. So in, in two or three days, they ought to have a better idea of where this thing is going to, where it's going to go. Right now, they've got it looking pretty comfortable here. It's roughly twice as far away. When it's as close to the Earth as it's going to get, it's twice as far away as YU-55 was. But once again, the real story here is the uncertainty level. We've only known about this for a couple days, so chances are this thing's going to fly by and not going to be anything to worry about. But I thought I'd uh, just discuss it a little bit. Barely got over YU-55, and here we go again. I'm anxious to hear from some of the YouTubers that put out technical videos. I'm not a astronomer. I'm not even an amateur astronomer. I'm just a concerned person that's paying attention to what's going on in the heavens. Anyway, you all take care, and I'll talk to you soon.